What's up, everybody? I'm Eric Devante, and you're watching MajorFilmEvents.com. Today, I'm at the Holly Shores Film Festival for the last night, which is also awards night. So this is the night that we find out which filmmakers will go home with the coveted prizes. I'm very excited. Make sure you stay tuned to MajorFilmEvents.com. My man, Kevin, how are you feeling? What did you win? Um, best director um, for the Holly Shorts Film Festival. I feel good, man. It's a good feeling. Now, I want to say that your trophy is significantly bigger than the rest. So I want to say that this is big man things, a big man with a big plan. How are you feeling? I feel blessed, man. I'm excited that a lot of people are opening their hearts up to Emmett Till's story. And um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to just share his story with more people. This is huge. What did you think when they called your name? I was shocked, uh, to be honest. There are so many talented filmmakers here. Honestly, this could have gone to anyone, so I'm just grateful that they recognize me. That's huge. Is there anyone that you want to shout out in particular? Um, yeah, thank you, Casey Lemons, um, Barbershop, Peggy Reisky, my wife, Tamisha, um, Spike Lee, um, and the rest of the cast and crew for the film who worked so hard, um, specifically my DP, Laura Valadeo, and then finally, um, L.B. Williams, who was the lead actor of my film, who unfortunately passed away um, shortly after we shot the film. Um, I just would like to honor him and dedicate this award to him. It wouldn't have been what it was without him. So That's amazing. Now that you're an award-winning filmmaker, what's next for you? Um, I'm in development for a feature film that we plan to shoot in the summer of 2018. So I've got my head down, writing, and focused on that. Now give us your social media one more time so we can keep up before you blow up. <laughs> yeah, so you can find me on Instagram at Directed by Kevin. Uh, on Facebook, my name is Kevin Wilson Jr. And um, you can visit my website at DirectedByKevin.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, best director, Kevin Wilson. Congratulations, bro. Now, Laura, you look very regal tonight, very beautiful. And I see that you won an award, so congratulations first off. No problem. What did you win? Um, one best narrative short for Friday. Oh, that's amazing. How did you feel? Uh, totally uh, dazed and excited. So what are your plans for tonight? How are you going to celebrate? Oh, well, we have an after party, I hear, and I'll, I'll definitely be there, and uh, I'll be partying late into the early morning. Yes. Well, Laura, give us some social media so we can keep up with you. Oh, uh, Facebook. Uh, Friday has a Facebook page. That's Friday Movie at Facebook. Uh, please like us there. Um, and I'm Miss Moss 774 on Instagram. Well, congratulations and have a great night. No problem. Now, Skinner, you were telling me you won the Grand Jury Award, which is a big deal because it sounds like people overall voted for your project. How does that feel? It feels overwhelming. Um, you never make a film hoping to win awards. You just want to tell a story, a good story. And I'm really happy that Frank Embry's story is finally getting heard by a larger audience. Yeah. Well, you clearly told a good story. So what's next for you now that you're an award-winning filmmaker? Uh, we're in post-production on a new film called Nightmares by the Sea, which we also shot on film. And um, I'm also a film professor at Loyola Marymount University, so I'll go back to teaching my students for the next couple of semesters. Um, and then just keep pushing, man, keep making art. Uh, hopefully make a feature next summer and uh, see what else happens. This is a big deal. How are you celebrating tonight? Uh, I'm going to go to the after party and get lit and then go home and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is big enough to have a drink out of. Yeah, yeah. sure is. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, congratulations. You deserve it. Thank, Thank you, very you. Much. Oh, wait. Do you have any social media that you want to share? Yes, uh, you can find me at SkinnerMyers.com or uh, Instagram, Niglet Filmmaker, N-I-G-L-E-T Filmmaker. I love that. Don't be, don't be bashful about that. You earned that. Okay. Okay. All right. All congratulations. Right. So, first off, what film were you representing tonight? Uh, it's called Two Bellman Three. And how, how did you feel once they called your name? Uh, I was pretty surprised because there was some so there was some good action stuff in there, super super good stuff. So yeah, just surprised I guess. Yeah. Very humble. What were you hoping to get across to the audience in making this film? Uh, I think just you know the just trying to find the balance of, of traditional storytelling and action stuff. You know, finding a reason to be doing it. And uh, I think that's the main thing, really. Well, this is amazing. You're an award-winning filmmaker. How does that feel? Yeah, uh, pretty awesome. How are you going to celebrate? <laughs> uh, probably go hang out with my wife. Yeah, have some uh, drinks, you know. Very humble family man. I like this. Very good. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us, Mark? 
Uh, sure. Actually, I want to share the production company that helped me make this uh, sub over hype. It's S U B O V E R H Y P E, sub over hype. I like that. Well, I hope to see a lot more from you, Mark, and congratulations once again. Have a great night. No problem. Okay, so what film were you guys representing tonight, and what award did you win? We won uh, Best Drama for Benny Got Shot. What? That's dope. Congratulations, y'all. So how are you feeling? Feel great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've been working on this film for so long, so anytime the, anybody wants to come together and celebrate, the filmmakers, we're very excited about it. Now, I was talking to another filmmaker earlier, and he was saying that you never make a project hoping for recognition or awards. So what were you guys hoping to get out by creating this film? Um, with our piece, you know, for me, it's, it's very important to uh, add to the black film canon. Uh, there's not, I think that there's a lack of black movies getting made that are, you know, a realistic portrayal or that really speak to us, for us, by us. Um, and I'd never had a movie that gone on a festival run before, so our main focus was just trying to make something honest and that could push the culture forward and do something for the people. Now, you as the producer, what were your thoughts when they called your film as the winner? I mean, I'm very excited. I mean, grateful that, you know, we have this recognition. But like Malcolm said, you know, we just wanted to, we set out to just make a film, you know, especially about our culture, our people. So you know, it was just an honor to be nominated and then to be, to be awarded. I love that. Now that you guys are award-winning filmmakers and producers, what's next for you guys? Well, we want to work together, continue working together. This was our second project, so just continue to make uh, projects like this. Yeah, we're cooking. We're, we're trying to start a production company and get a couple projects off the ground uh, for a feature next year. So you'll, you'll hear from us again. I love that. I'm pretty sure I'll see more of you guys. So congratulations. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Um, Instagram and uh, Twitter is Jonique R. So J-O-E-N-I-Q-U-E-R. I'm Malcolm Dub, M-A-L-C-O-L-M-D-U-B-B. -B. Congratulations, guys. Have a great night. So I have the winner of the Best Sci-Fi Award, Miss Maggie Mart. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm really surprised and honored. That's great. Uh, what was the name of your film? The name of my film is Unbound. What did you want to portray to the audience with Unbound? So I was really exploring transformation and the idea that someone could go so through something really bad and that it could transform them for the better. And do you feel like you went through, uh, you underwent any transformations while creating the film? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, what kind? Uh, you know, it really fine-tuned my voice as a filmmaker. Uh, I explored things um, that I hadn't before as far as like visual effects and special effects. Uh, I used to work on a television show that had those elements in place, but this is the first time I have actually integrated those as, you know, for myself as a filmmaker, so. And now not only are you a filmmaker, but you're an award-winning filmmaker, yes. So shout-outs to you. And how did you feel when they called your name? Honestly, really surprised. I was like, I'll go. I want to support the other filmmakers. I had no idea I'd be up for an award, though. So. You guys are very humble filmmakers, I'll have you know. A lot of you guys are like, I'm surprised. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool. So how are you going to celebrate tonight? I'll probably cry and hug my little statue. I don't want you to cry, but if it's happy tears, then it works for me. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us, Maggie? I do. I'd love for people to go see my website, which is my name, um, Maggie Mart, M-A-H-R-T is how you spell the last name, slash Unbound, which is the film's page. Well, congratulations, Maggie. I'm so happy for you. And have a great night. Thank you, Eric. No problem. So, Anvar, what film are you representing tonight and what award did you win? So, the film that I shot, I directed myself and the, the film's name is a, a birthday card and, um, and the award that I won is for the youth category. It's a best youth for, I mean, best youth award. Okay, so this is a film for the kids, yes? No, it's actually not, um, it's, it's sort of uh, for the kids, but it's more dram dramatical movie. And uh, and uh, we, I just have a kids there. Like I have actors, kids, but it's more serious and dramatical movies. That's why it's in the youth category. And and I myself is young too. I'm just 22 years old. That's why it's in the youth category. You know that. You're younger than I am. I'm 23. All right, and you're award winning. Yeah, you beat me. I have things to do now. So what did you feel when they called your name for the award? Well, actually, when I came here, I didn't thought that I'm gonna win something here. Because the Holy Shore Film Festival, it's a very great festival, and I saw a lot of great films, and I'm very lucky, I'm just telling the truth, I'm very lucky that I won 
a best youth category and I'm very happy and this is my first award that I won and I guess it's gonna be in it's gonna be in my memory for the for the end of my life you know so I'm very happy and my feelings was like unbelievable feelings I, I couldn't even I couldn't even how, how to say uh, I didn't believe it at first it's like when they say birthday car I'm like maybe it's a different movie then I understand that oh it's my there's my name you know yes, you earned that so do you have any social media that you want to share with us yeah I have a social media for the birthday card movie so it's in the Facebook and if they go birthday car uh, facebook.com slash a birthday card so it's a birthday card um, a page so they can find my movie and watch trailers, watch every event, what's going on with that movie. And uh, I'm uh, recommending to everybody to watch this movie because it's a very nice movie about the abortion theme. I, I guess a lot of nationalities, a lot of ethnicities can, can, um, can understand because it's very universal theme. That's beautiful. Well, congratulations, Anvar, and have a great night. Thank you. No problem. Well, congratulations, Wally. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I feel really happy. It's uh, it's it's an honor, and it's pretty cool, you know, to win a big award here. Now, what did you win tonight? Uh, we won for best short documentary. Okay. Yeah. It's a very big deal. What was the first thing that went through your mind when they called your name? Uh, I was like, finally, we won something huge. Like, you know, we've been winning awards, but they're more small awards. And then we were hoping, I mean, this film festival is a huge film festival for us because the Oscar qualifying film festival. So we were hoping, we, I was saying, man, we got to win, we got to win, we got to win. And I told my director, man, we got to do it, we got to do it. Man. This is a big deal. So how are you celebrating tonight? I'm going out and partying. Yeah. The party's about to start. I'm going in hard, yes. yes. And I'm going to party with my award and my you've earned it you need to party with it get it a drink yeah for sure for sure we'll be drinking together <laughs> that's perfect well congratulations do you have any social media that you want to share with us yes um social media it's wally green nyc one word that's wally green nyc and information about our film is the tablesfilm.com perfect congratulations wally turn up have a drink for me perfect. so you won the award for best international how does that feel it feels amazing. It's such an honor. So I'm going to celebrate tonight, definitely. What went through your mind when they called your name? Um, I mean, you never really realize it in the moment. It was just a real, real pleasure and an honor to win it. I love it. So what was the name of your film or your series? Uh, the name of my film was Pushing Night Away. It's a Norwegian short film. Perfect. So what was the inspiration behind your film? <laughs> um, honestly, I've just, I've always been... You know how they say that you should live every day like it's your last because there's an intensifying quality in, in realizing that the possibilities of today might not be possibilities tomorrow. And while I'm so drawn to that notion, it strikes me how often we find ourselves living in the past or in the future and not really focusing on the moments here and now. So that was kind of the inspiration behind this specific story. Well, I love that. And if we're living today like it's our last and you won this award, how are you celebrating tonight? I'm definitely going to go and have a drink with my DP and editor. And he was, his name is Mike Smith. He's one of the best people I've ever worked with. And he was the only American working on a Norwegian set. Uh, so that extra kudos for that. Yes, I love that so much. Well, congratulations, Jay. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Uh, sure. I have an Instagram. It's Jade Axness. It's my name in one and same on Facebook. Perfect. Well, congratulations and party hard tonight. You've earned it. No Perfect. You look beautiful, Hannah. No problem. So what award did you win tonight? Um, I won screenplay runner-up for uh, my script, Modern Love. That's perfect. How do you feel? I feel great. Um, I feel surprised. And uh, this is a wonderful event, so it's awesome. This is huge. So what was the first thing that ran through your mind when they called your name? Um, I hoped that I didn't fall up the stairs, <laughs> and I thought about uh, how awkward it was going to be to walk across the stage, and, but mostly I was just really excited. Well, you know what, I'm glad you didn't fall, because that wouldn't have been the classiest acceptance, you know? But it's okay, you didn't fall, and you're here now, so how are you going to celebrate tonight? Um, well, I think I'm going to have some drinks with some of the people here, and 
just meet as many people as possible. I would very much like to produce my screenplay, so, you know, obviously this place is full of talented people. Just get to know some of them and celebrate with them. I'm happy for you. You would have thought I won an award, but that clearly did not happen, so it's okay. But do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Uh, sure. My Instagram is at Hannah Ray Cartoons. That's Hannah Ray, R-A-E, Cartoons. Uh, I make political cartoons and just some funny stuff, so. And now you can put award winning in front of that. So. Yes, yes, totally. I'll can you give me a hair flip for that? Sure. Award winning. Perfect. Well, congratulations. Have a great night. So congratulations on your award tonight, first off. No problem. What award did you win? Best music video. Best music? Oh, I love a good music video. I love to dance, so. Yeah, it's called Starman. I am Eve. What was the inspiration behind it? Uh, I'm working on a transmedia project, like a full narrative, and so this is one little piece of the, the story. It takes place in this, like, alter world that's kind of matrixy with a lot of sacred geometry where uh, Eve, the main character, reunites with her soulmate. It's very, like, it's, it's kind of like a love science fiction. Is it dark? Does it have a dark side to it at all? The rest of the story is pretty dark, but this part of it is very like climactic and happy. And well, you know where our world is currently a mess, so maybe I want to you know play around in your world for a bit. I think it's a nice world to get lost in. If I could go anywhere right now, it would be that one. I love that. So, what was the first thought that went through your mind when they called your name? Uh, I, I mean, I was I was thrilled about it. It's such a fantastic acknowledgement. You know, we. And also, I tried to get my editor to come jump up with me, and he, he wouldn't, but I, I really, I wished he had Matthias Hilger, he's here, and um, there's so many amazing people that were part of this team to make this, uh, this video happen. Um, so I'm just really present to all of the community and people that, you know, put it together, and, it's, you know, it's great to feel acknowledged for it, yeah. I'm so happy for you. Well, congratulations. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Yeah, yeah. it's um, imeveami.com, I-A-M-E-V-E-A-M-I.com. And all the social channels are at imeveami, I-A-M-E-V-E-A-M-I. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Eve. Congratulations once again. What's going on, guys? I had an amazing time at the Holly Shores Film Festival, but sadly, tonight's the last night. Make sure you stay tuned to MajorFilmEvents.com. You never know where we'll be next.